the bright side of branding, business, and being your own boss. Hey boss, it's Sunny Leonard Easy. Welcome to The Sunny Show for the bright side of branding, business, and being your own boss. And there is one key to being your own boss that not enough people talk about, and it's confidence. You have to be confident. Whether you are trying to own a meeting, uh, present a pitch, go on camera, or just take the leap in your life to actually be your own boss, we all have to have confidence. And you know what the great thing is? You don't have to know exactly what you're doing to be confident in what you're doing. So I wanted to share with you my top five confidence creators that you can implement into your life and into your day. And I have a very special brand new download at the end of this video with a few affirmations that you can say to yourself every single day to start your day on a confident note. So tip number one, our confidence creator number one is proof. So you have overcome a lot in your life to get to this point, and I think it's really important that you remind yourself. So the first step is to remind yourself whether you have to write it down or you create some sort of board of when you've overcome some sort of a challenge or you've pushed through some sort of a problem to get where you need to go. Because you're going to fail. We're all going to fail. I've failed a lot in my journey. But the thing is, when you fail, it sets you up for success even faster because you can learn a lot faster than someone who's afraid to fail or make a mistake. So remind yourself of the times when you've pushed through something that you didn't think was possible and that's going to give you a boost of confidence. Something that I do is create a positivity wall as well. So I have a wall in my office that has notes and pictures and images that remind me that there are people out there who enjoy and support what I do and that also motivates me and gives me the confidence to keep going. And finally, as I mentioned at the end of this video, I'm giving you my affirmations to give you a kickstart of confidence every single morning that you can say to yourself. It will take you a matter of a few seconds and it really does change your mindset to start creating confidence in yourself right now. And tip number two is prove yourself wrong. So the first one is proof and the second one is to prove yourself wrong. What do I mean by that? Well, I always talk about risk tolerance. So when I started my business, I was really afraid to make moves and do things outside of my comfort zone. But unfortunately or fortunately, you kind of have to as you grow as an entrepreneur or else you're probably just going to give up. You have to go outside your comfort zone. You have to take risks in order to grow. And now my risk tolerance is so high in my business. I'm doing things now that I never thought were even possible for me. So start today and try one thing that you thought you might not be capable of and you'll probably surprise yourself. Even if you fail the first time, you will figure out how to do it eventually, I promise. So prove yourself wrong. Your mind might be, might be telling you, no, it's too hard, you can't do that, but you will prove yourself wrong if you just try. You won't ever prove yourself wrong if you never do it in the first place. Number three is one of the most important and probably one of the most misconstrued. I don't want you to go out there and pretend to be something you're not. The biggest key to confidence is owning exactly where you are in your journey. If you are a newbie beginner, own it. Don't pretend to be somebody who has years of experience because your growth comes from experience. So if you're just starting out in your business or in your niche, own that and be a sponge for learning. As long as you have a growth mindset, you're set up for success and you'll succeed a lot faster than if you're trying to pretend to be an expert or trying to pretend to be something you're not. You will get to the expert status through experience. That's the only way that you will get there. So do not fake it till you make it. Own it. Own where you are. Do the work. Join groups. Get in communities that are focused on your niche and what you do. Learn from your mentors. Learn from the best in the business. And eventually, you will be the best in the business. Confidence creator number four is mood boosters. Now, this might sound like a little bit of a weird thing to tell you, but it's pretty practical. On a daily basis, what are you doing to improve your mood? Because when your mood is good and positive and happy and joyful and at peace, you feel more confident. When you're anxious and stressed out, you're not gonna feel very confident at all. So even if you have to inject yourself with a little bit of a mood booster, 
you totally should be doing this on a daily basis. Things like listening to the right music. I actually wake up to a specific playlist and I call it my boss playlist, obviously. Um, and it wakes me up through my alarm clock every single morning. And it makes such a big difference because I'm waking up with songs that pump me up and get me out of bed and give me that confidence to go tackle the day. Another thing that I always do is exercise every single day and I push myself when I exercise to give me that idea that I'm going to prove myself wrong and I can do things that I thought once weren't possible. So boost your mood through the things that make you happy, whether that's hanging out with your friends and family, trying a new activity or a hobby unrelated to your business, just to give yourself a mental break, music, exercise, whatever it may be, try and infuse some mood boosters into every single day. Finally, the confidence creator that I'm gonna finish this off with is be your own fan. <laughs> You probably thought I was gonna say boss, but I'm gonna say be your own fan. So I look to DJ Khaled for this one and I want you to take a note out of his book. He is truly his biggest fan. His whole slogan and tagline is we the best. So you really do have to believe in yourself before anyone else is gonna believe in you. So you have to be your number one fan. If you're not gonna be kind to yourself, if you're not gonna be forgiving to yourself, no one else is gonna be. And you really do need to have that own confidence and instilled self-confidence before you can go out there and put yourself out there in your business and truly feel confident in yourself. Again, you don't wanna fake it until you make it because you will fall flat on your face eventually if you're trying to run on that model. So be kind to yourself, be your biggest cheerleader, cheer yourself on, use everything else that I've told you in this video today to make sure that you do have that confidence set up, but be above all else, Really all you need to do is be your biggest fan and believe in yourself more than anybody else does because when all else fails, if you have that, you will have confidence for life. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do have a brand new bonus for you. It's below this video. I'm really excited about this one. It is just a one page affirmation sheet that you can read every morning to be your biggest fan. And it's really going to start your day with a boost and a kickstart of confidence. So. These are affirmations that you can read out to yourself um, or you can just read it silently inside your head every single morning to feel really confident in whatever it is that you're doing and whatever stage it is that you are in growing your business, growing your brand, or doing something new in your life. So make sure you grab that. The download is below this video. The link is below this video to grab it. And if you haven't joined thousands of other bosses from all over the world in the Be Your Own Boss Mastermind group, it is an instant boot of boost of confidence because you have a support system around you in that group. So you can join it for free, again, below this video. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, share it with your friends who might need a boost of confidence, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. You've got this, and I'll see you in the next video. Have you been thinking about using YouTube to grow your business, but you're not sure where to start and you're scared of wasting time on the wrong steps? Let me be your guide and I'll show you the right steps to ranking on page one for more views, subscribers, and leads for your business. Learn more at bossyoutubestrategy.com.